my goddamn aunt. Jesus. I don't play with bugs, Lord. Why you keep letting them crawl on me? Good morning, you guys, and welcome to a vlog. So, as you all know, we're just gonna jump right into it. As you know, I just bought a house. Well, we just bought a house, but this is my channel, so I just bought a house. And I look real crusty right now because I literally just woke up. Well, I did not just woke up, I lied. I've been up, but I just been laying in bed watching Grey's Anatomy, feeding the babies, but I just got out the bed. So, on today's agenda is, because right now, y'all, okay, listen, I was going to give, like, an empty house tour. However, my house was never really empty from the time that we closed, because literally the day of closing, we moved a lot of stuff in here. So, it was never really empty to show. Um, and the reason being that we had to move stuff in here so quickly is because I had a storage space and the storage space was only good up until um, March 31st and we closed on April the 1st. So I had to, we had to move the stuff out March 31st, leave it in the U-Haul overnight and then the U-Haul had to go back, of course, so we had to hurry up and move the stuff in here. So pretty much it was never empty. So. I'm not gonna be doing that, you know, y'all just to be able to see how the house look as I vlog, I guess. Or, you know, just as I have videos and stuff like that. But on today's agenda is, you know what, I need to write a to-do list. Right now, y'all, life is so ghetto. Okay, let me show you. First of all, it's just stuff it's just stuff everywhere but really like okay this is the couch right now y'all it's stuff everywhere as you can see baby stuff burnt cloth on the floor but we got this futon from big lots because the couch is on a 10 week back order y'all i swear every time i turn around i just notice something do you see that up there those cracks anyway i gotta look into that but anyway um this futon right here from the moment we sat on it it broke because this back part it just ain't staying up so i had to call big lots and tell them that it was broken i do not have a car to be able to bring it back because we picked it up in the u-haul so i need somebody to come out here and pick it up and bring me a replacement so they're supposed to be doing that wednesday but I need to go ahead and order the couch. The only reason why I've been hesitant is, and if y'all see this right here on my chin, y'all, it's eczema and I keep scratching it, so now it's like scabby. Anyway, um, I need to order a couch, but I've been putting it off because I really don't know what color I want. I know what couch I want is in West Elm and it's actually on sale right now, so I'm happy about that, but I need to, I need to get a lot of stuff because pretty much everything that I moved from my apartment was thrown away because I just wanted to pretty much like start over fresh because the, the furniture I had in my apartment was like old. Like I literally had it since I moved in that apartment and I moved in 2014. So it was time to be replaced. So we really don't have much, even though when you look around, it seems like it's a lot of sh <laughs> but we have you know I, I need to decorate and i need to buy a lot of you know different things as far as furniture miscellaneous stuff organization bins decor and y'all gonna help me okay we gonna do this together so first things first as far as the couch let me show y'all so this is the can you see it okay that's the color of the couch that i was gonna get this is called mineral gray distressed velvet 
and I was gonna get that because as you can see, like the color tones in here is like gray. The floor is like a gray color tone. But now that I look at it, I feel like that it would be, I feel like that it would be too, um, it just would be too like gray, too much gray going on. Because as you can see, like gray appliances, the countertops is like a granite marble gray. It's just a lot of gray. So what, so what I was thinking, and let me know how y'all think about it. I was thinking about getting a couch that can pretty much like match the stone and the fireplace. Um, and then I could do like little, pretty much, because the colors that I was gonna do, y'all, is like mixed mixed um, metals, so like great, like gold and, and silver. But now that I'm in here, I'm just like, I don't know. So I think that I wanna get a couch that matches this so it can pretty much pull from this. And then I can do different things like a mirror or decor or pillows that maybe like bring out the black and some gray and stuff like that. So, I seen West Elm in the West Elm in the couch that I want. They have whole, so many different color options. Um, the only thing is, of course, I'm a mother, and I'm not really trying to get like a light. Oh, y'all can't see me. I'm a mother, and I'm really not trying to get like a light color couch. However, West Elm has this type of fabric called performance fabric, where it's like. If stains get on it or if any type of liquid get on it, instead of it soaking into the couch, it balls up and the dirt can come out easily on the couch. So I'm thinking about that because the kids are not allowed to drink in there at all anyway. Okay. Um, so really the only thing they will be doing, like they're not allowed to have anything in there that can stain it. I'll say that. Um, so pretty much all they would be doing is sitting on it and... They really ain't even gonna be in there like that anyway. But anywho, I'm going to West Elm today so I can look at swatches to match that. Oh Lord, he calling me. Yes, honey. I'm vlogging. <laughs> Why, you need what? me now? Huh? You need me now? Yeah. All right. He's calling me because he's giving them a bath and he need me to help him take them out. I do it by myself. I'm back. Okay, you guys, I'm back. So that's on the agenda today as far as trying to find a couch or whatever. Um, it is a lot of just stuff, just like stuff. Like just like over here, you know, it's just stuff. Just laying around, dishes in the sink dishes over here that's been clean you know what i'm saying so it's just like i need a dish rack or whatever and this stuff is not gonna stay on the counter because it just don't don't it just don't go but anywho and then there's like stuff over here it's just stuff everywhere boxes so i'm gonna go ahead and have my coffee i also am going to write down my to-do list for today and read my devotion but before that we always light a candle Okay, do you just not want a light or something? What is the problem? There you go. This is the Welcome Home Candle by Bath and Body Works, of course. Well, it says White Barn, but you know. <laughs> so let's go over here and make some coffee. My favorite part of the day. I'll do the Dunkin' Donuts Original Blend. Let that heat up first. And now let's go 
find a mug. So, which one should I use, you guys? I have coffee in one hand, confidence in the other. I have a beautiful day mug. I have morning beautiful. I got some others also, but I also have my... I got this from Williams, William and Son, so no, I don't even know how to say it, but in the inside I have different um, things about cancers. I think I'm gonna use this one. Yeah, it got a crab on it. <laughs> I'm gonna just go ahead and get my creamer. My refrigerator, well, it's not a mess, but it just ain't got no type of organization to it for real. Well, uh, it ain't too bad. So I have fresh vanilla and I have peppermint mocha. I think I'm gonna do peppermint mocha. Okay. And I'm gonna do strong. This. Come on, today, boys. That actually looks nasty. <laughs> I'm gonna add some creamer in my coffee. Okay, so let me tell y'all, I was supposed to, oh, that ain't, that ain't, that ain't enough cream. If I can still see it's brown, uh-uh. Okay. So, this man was supposed to come deliver, this company was supposed to come deliver our washer and dryer Saturday. So, when I called Saturday and was like, hey, what time are y'all coming? They was like, oh, we not coming out there today. And I was like, well, I had a scheduled delivery. And they told me something, they forgot to write it down. And that they was already done with deliveries for the day. So they was coming today, which is Monday. And the guy, he just called me. Even though I talked to him this morning, I said, well, can you give me a roundabout time? You plan on coming? He was like, I'll call you in 30 minutes out. And I'm just like, okay, but can you give me like, you know how like some be like, we'll be there between such and such and such and such. He act like he can't give me that. So he just called me, so I'm gonna call him back so y'all can hear what the BS. Hello? Yes, how you call? Yes, yes. Could you send me a picture of your stairwell? Is it going straight up? Yes, it's just straight up. There's no turns or anything like that. You got a washer and dryer coming out of there? No. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, I'm gonna be on the way to you, okay? Okay, thank you. Anyway, so you know what? I'm gonna start with my devotion today. <sighs> Day 13. You guys. Okay. Let me tell y'all something. This has nothing to do with. Okay, anyway. Let me tell y'all something. So I've never been the type of person that was like into like angel numbers and stuff like that because I just really was like, how can numbers just like mean anything however when you like it just keep happening to me so i find it so weird and i feel like that is really like god trying to tell me something because i keep seeing the number 222 everywhere and this has been going on for months you guys like I, this is not just something recent but what made me think to tell y'all that right now is I opened my devotion. This is my first time opening it for today. I never even looked at this page. And it always come with a scripture. Um, you know, it gets the scripture. And look. Daniel 2.22. <laughs> I just feel like it just. I don't know why. I just. Okay, you guys, so I finished my devotion. It was a really good devotion. Now I'm texting back this delivery man again. He's asking, what's your address? Like, sir. Okay. You guys, I can't make this stuff up. I'm going to blur out my address, of course. But look at this. Look at this. I even went online to try to see if he found that picture online, but I can't find it. So, this just, this, this, this. Okay, y'all, I'm finally in the car, about to go to West M. I'm hoping I make it seriously because it is four o'clock on the dot and they close at five and I have a 
bit of a ways to go to get there but i seriously only need to just go and match to see which of the um which of the colors match um my stone so it's not like i need to like look around or anything like that <laughs> a goddamn ant jesus i don't play with bugs lord why you keep letting them crawl on me y'all i'm stuck in traffic so i'm about to vent right quick so i bought this washer and dryer from this company and it was a, it's a used washer and dryer but pretty much it looked like new and the reason why i didn't mind buying a used washer and dryer because i'm just i just was like especially when you're moving into a new house you have so many things to buy and i just wasn't pressed on buying a washer and dryer that just did the most so i was okay with just if you do you wash and do you dry but I purchased it from this company. Like I said earlier, it was supposed to be delivered Saturday. It didn't get delivered. It was supposed to be delivered today. This man claimed he'd been waiting on roadside assistance since early this morning. Now, I know roadside assistance do not take that long. Okay, first of all, it do not take that long. Second of all, nobody ever called and told me that roadside, you know, like, they never called and told me, hey, we're not going to be able to come out today. It took for me to have to call 50 million people for them to actually come i mean to tell me that they're gonna look into it so when i say i need this washer and dryer today they're gonna text back and say it may not be delivered it won't be today we we're trying to get it on for tomorrow so now i gotta get black so it's like now i gotta really like come out of my character because obviously you all are taking my kindness for weakness and i don't like that i really hate like you know just kind of being a b-i-t-c-h when it comes to somebody that's giving me services especially when they know my address because for one you know my address and for two you know i'm buying something from you so i don't want this process to go any rougher than what it already is however this is such a huge fucking inconvenience and i really feel like that people really be taking my kindness for a weakness and i don't like that like for real like you know what my devotion this morning my devotion said to not worry about things just to know everything will be okay but i'm pissed and i'm in traffic and now i might not even make it to west elm because they close at five o'clock why do y'all close at five o'clock five o'clock most people get off at five god dang come on now guys this is the last time i'm gonna come up here and rant about this but the delivery guy just texted me to my son unfortunately the rim was bent and he wasn't able to come out because they couldn't change the tire and his phone had died now i don't know who he think is boo boo the fool but first of all yo message my message is not gonna go through and say delivered if your phone died second of all if I was calling you, it would go straight to voicemail, not ringing. And third of all, I find it mighty funny that you decided that they're going to contact me after I contacted the person in charge. Do it look like, I mean, my hat say creative director, not boo-boo the food. Okay, y'all. So, long story short, I didn't make it to West Elm. It was too much traffic. Yo, this is real live. Let me pause my music. This look like a, some chin hair. <laughs> but I didn't make it to West Elm because traffic was so backed up and by the time I even got close to West Elm it was like 4.50 and they closed at 5 so I was like I'm not going to test it so anyway I'm back at home and pretty much to close out the night I'm about to cook I know today is Monday so it's not Taco Tuesday but I'm making nachos tonight so I got everything laid out the seasoning cheese and salsa meat so shredded cheese and the actual nachos. So I'm just gonna go ahead and prop my, my camera up and let it roll. Multiplying, 
the next day Tuesday April the 6th um, I'm about to go to West Elm finally the time is 303 so I should not have a problem with making it today because they close at 5 right now he is holding me up because he was outside cleaning his car and I said you ain't clean my car so now he's trying to hurry up and clean it before I leave anyway Okay, so I took a picture of the stone. This is the picture of the stone. And you can't really pick up the true color of it on camera, but that's the picture of it or whatever. And um, I'm gonna just match that to a swatch in there and see which one looks the best. So, a little update because you know it is a little bit later in the day they did deliver my washer and dryer finally the man gonna come in there and be like i'm so sorry about yesterday mm. i just was like mm -hmm. save your apologies because it was some bs okay and um what else we got security uh, well you know like the security system installed today so we got camera doorbell motion detector window break all of that so you know if anything goes down or if anybody tries it we will know so we made it you guys let's go and film okay y'all so these are the swatches that I got so this is the Chanel tweed I'm so sorry about my finger like it looks disgusting with this band-aid up here but I cut myself really really bad so this is that was one and then this is the performance velvet oh but the color is called dove gray and this color was called silver gray and then this is called platinum. So I'm gonna go and compare these to the actual stone and we are gonna see which one works. We're not sure here. Okay, you guys, so I made it back home. First things first, Mr. Khalil is in the background being a brat. <laughs> there you go. Here you go, boo boo. Oh, don't start. What's wrong? Look at the eyes. You got tears all in your eyes. <laughs> okay. You good? You You good? Okay, I got him quiet for a little bit. So these are the swatches, you guys. So this is the silver gray right okay 
This is the Platinum. And this is the Dove Gray. So pretty much all of them. Kalia, boo boo. You just won't let mommy live, huh? You just won't. You just won't, boo boo. Hmm. <laughs> so, based upon now, let me see which one looks good with the floor. Girl, I don't know. See, I feel like this one is just too much gray going on. I feel like this one kind of add just a little bit more earth. But this one looks good too. I don't know y'all, help me, help me. Y'all, does Amazon not ring the doorbell for nobody else? Because I swear I've been down here and ain't nobody want no doorbell. where I get these robo calls like every day. Hello. I could at least put a at least put a bra on. Anyway, let's open up. Oh happy Wednesday you guys because I have not been up here all day. And as you can see I'm still looking bummy. I don't know about anybody else. I'll be watching YouTubers and they be looking all nice and Walking around the house looking all nice, like Aaliyah's face. She be looking all cute walking around the house. But I don't know how to do that because I be having my wig braids in. And I don't know why nobody else would. My wig braids is crusty. Hold on, it's hot. I ordered some stuff from Amazon. So, what is, oh. Okay, so first things first, I ordered these LED puck lights that go under your cabinet because I, the only lighting that we have outside of like the kitchen lighting is like this overhead light, which is right here. Let me show y'all. This overhead light right here, and then we have these lights right here. But I just figured, you know, we could turn those lights off at nighttime and maybe just have like lights that go under the cabinet. So that's what I bought. I bought these craft ice maker silicone trays. When we saw one that makes um, craft ice, we was like, ooh, craft ice. But when we saw that price, we was like, oh, no, 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 seen these on Amazon to where they pretty much the trays for craft ice. So you have the big squares and you have the balls. And plus my sister has um, the craft ice maker on her refrigerator and she says she barely uses it. So I'm gonna pop these in the, what you talking about? Over there hollering. I'm gonna pop these in the dishwasher. And then I just got a shower, a shower curtain liner, because who would have known, well, I knew you had to have a shower curtain liner, but who would have known when you bought a house that don't come with a shower ride? So I had to buy a shower ride, I got the liner. I didn't pick out a shower curtain yet because, I don't know, I just, I needed more time to pick out one that I actually would like. 
But even besides that, I don't even have the hooks. So I gotta buy that. But I'm gonna go in the store and buy that because Amazon fast, but I need it like Jimmy John fans today. I got rid of all my cookware. So let me show y'all what I got. I got this from Wayfair, by the way. Oh, boo boo, I'm coming. Wait. Mom, let mommy live. So. Uh, mommy break. Hold on. Okay, side note, right quick, y'all. So. When you move into a new house or whatever, or even just a new place in general, you you have it, all these deliveries, all these people need deliver this, deliver that, deliver this, give you time, 8 to 12, 10 to 2, 3 to 5, too much, okay? But today I was supposed to have somebody come look at this because we actually, well, regardless of if we paid for it or not, even if the builder paid for it, but more so because we paid for it, um... Our countertops were scratched. I don't know who scratched it, but they put blue tape around it and they were supposed to come today from 12 to 1. Let me show y'all what time it is. You see that? 3.44. So, they're supposed to be coming in 10 minutes. But anyway, so let me show y'all this real quick. So, I purchased the Cuisine Art Chef's Classic Non-Stick Heart Anodized Cookware Set. So, it comes with 17 pieces and yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and put some stuff in the dishwasher straight in this kitchen and then i'll come back later on when the babies are asleep because you hear that yeah and we're gonna do some amazon shopping because i need y'all so i'll be back later this is much later in the evening it's actually 9 44 right now and I know I said that I was gonna do some Amazon shopping, but honestly, I don't feel like it. So I'm about to fix me some wine. <laughs> this is my wine right here. This is my favorite. Well, I haven't tried many of wines, but I really like this wine. I always keep coming back to it. And I'm gonna go ahead and get my craft ice. Let's this is my first time opening it, y'all. So let's hope it turns out good. Get me a wine glass. And I'm going to heat me up some pizza because I my kids just leave stuff just child. So, I'm gonna get me some pizza I ordered from Sal's Pizza. It look all ugh right now. But once I heat that joint up, <laughs> it's gonna be good, shawty. Give me a paper plate because we do not have any place right now. Okay. I think I want to take my water bottle upstairs too. I'll just do one. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, this is gonna be so good when it's heated up. One pizza. And I'm gonna also get me some garlic knots. Get two of those. This is so unhealthy, but whatever. Put this in the microwave. Okay, now let's go ahead and pour the wine. Okay, so let's pop this open. Oh, you see the balls? It came out good. I would do that. I would do that. Put some Parmesan. And 
And I'm gonna take me some marinara sauce. Now when it comes to wine, I don't know why they be saying you only supposed to pour like a little bit. I guess like that. Please, honey, I'm about to fill this up. But this looks so cute, you guys. Look at my little balls. <laughs> okay, so that is the end of this day. I will see you all tomorrow, which is Thursday. Good morning, you guys. It's, I actually, it's what time is it? 9.42, but I've been up for a while. I just took a shower because, you know, I got to make appointments to take showers now. And pretty much was trying to put the babies back to sleep for their morning nap because they wake up around like six something. So now I'm about to make me some coffee and then I'm gonna get started with trying to order everything that i need to okay you guys i have amazon up i have the camera on the baby up so i can see what she doing the other one is right over there <laughs> and i'm gonna go ahead and get what i need so so stainless steel cleaner as you can see i put this in here already before because i was looking but i just didn't get it so Fingerprint resistant, removes residue, watermarks, and grease from appliances. Works great on refrigerators. Ooh, and it comes with the wipes, and it comes with the spray, and a deck on a towel. You guys, I swear these twins, they have some type of twin, what is it called? To let the, whatever, because he's over there moving, and look, she moving. And I swear they do this all the time. And she's about to start crying because the pacifier is stuck right there. Okay, she stopped for right now. All right, so. I'm gonna get this one. Add to cart. Search again. I said TV cleaner. Well, this one's no one's dollars. And they got good reviews. It's called People Plant. Well, they got good reviews. I don't know about anybody else, but I'd be so quick to go to the uh, more expensive one because for some reason I just equate the fact that it's expensive well more expensive and has more reviews so that is better but i really need to stop being like that because that doesn't necessarily mean it's better i'm gonna just add it to cart okay so now i'm gonna do the utensil holder but you guys i have to measure oh shit i have to measure first um how wide this is and i probably need to see how wide it is in the inside so I'm going to use my phone because I don't know if y'all ever use the, the measuring. So I'm going to add, no, I'm going to add it from like, no. Okay, I'll just do it right there. Do, 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 do. How big is that? 25 inches. So I need to find one that fits within that. 13 to 21 this go out to 21 inches i feel like i need this one let me see how much this one go out that can't be right 16 i don't think mm. all right i'm gonna just go with the 29 dollar one because since just since it's such a wide thing, I feel like or even you could say 25% L without block. What is a block? Oh, removable knife block. Do I need that? I don't think I really need that. Yeah, I don't think I really need that. But why does it seem like you get more slots when it have the block. 
Let me see. Spoons, forks, knives. Hmm. That is like for the small spoons and the bigger spoons. So I'm going to just get that one. I'm going to log in at the end. Okay. So I got the stainless steel cleaner, TV cleaner, the utensil holder. Now let's look for some cuticle oil. Oh, this one got good. This one got a 72,000 reviews. Milk and honey. Oh, natural angry. Oh, that's all I needed here. Come on. Come on now. <laughs> Oh, you know what? My sister was telling me about some granite, uh, granite countertop. Well, I do need some granite cleaner because our countertops are uh, granite. So I need some of this granite gold daily cleaner spray. What's the difference between the gold one and the, oh, this is a disinfectant granite cleaner daily shine and clean oh yeah i need that <laughs> i need that oh okay <laughs> i'm just thinking of everything i need a salt and pepper shaker for real let me write it down because i'm gonna forget i need a salt and pepper shaker and i also need one of them things that go in the drawer like a seasoning holder so i needed that salt and pepper and i need a seasoning holder seasoning organizer okay because right now let me show y'all all of my seasonings is like this and i feel like that i need i definitely need you know i need something else um okay that's it you guys that's all i need my total is 150 dollars Thank you for shopping with me. Have a good day. So y'all, I'm not even gonna hold you. I just sat here and ordered more stuff and now my total 288. But I'll be sure to show you what I got when it comes. Good morning, you guys. So I'm not even gonna hold you. It's Saturday, okay? So Thursday, my friend came over and we were just sitting here talking and drinking. And then Friday I woke up pretty much like with a slight hangover. And I had to go get my nails done Friday morning at 9 o'clock. I got stuff all in my eye. I just woke up, y'all. I ain't washed my face or nothing, so forgive me. But, um, so Friday morning I had to go get my nails done, which I'm going to show y'all in a minute. And then... I came back home and I've been home ever since. So I didn't do anything. So this morning I'm making my call. I'm about to make my coffee and pretty much I really don't have anything like major that I have to do today, but I do want to get out the house. I want to do my makeup. I want to get cute. I want to take a picture and I want to get dressed cute. <laughs> And I really don't know where I have to go, but you guys, like I was, I bought some skim stuff and I'm not even gonna show y'all how it look. I need to get in the gym, okay? And my Amazon order comes today where majority of the stuff come today. Some come Sunday, sure. I'm gonna show y'all that when it come in later on. So I'm about to make my coffee, you guys, and I read my devotion. That's what I'm out to do. Today, oh, let me show y'all my nails. <laughs> so, I'm gonna tell y'all where I got my, I'm gonna show y'all the picture of my inspo. And let me, hold on, wait, let me go over here. Where it's lighting. Okay, so there go my nails, you guys. And I absolutely love them. So they're like a furry cow tail. And pretty much the inspo I got, the, it pretty much looked just like this. However, the girl had coffin nails. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm about to drink my coffee. Today's mug of choice is... Beautiful day. You guys, my camera went dead while I was getting ready, but we're about to go to Texas Roadhouse, me and my sugar daddy. What? 
sugar daddy. <laughs> we got the babies with us. She not crying right now, but she just was having a fit. I look, I feel cute today, you guys. I got dressed, took a picture that I had to fight with him over. Let me ask y'all, when y'all man taking y'all picture, do he tell y'all if something messed up or he just snap it? My hair was clearly messed up and he just snapping it. I'm gonna show y'all the picture. I'm gonna put it on the screen and y'all tell me. Okay, you guys, so I'm back home and I'm gonna go ahead and open my packages because I got here and they were here. So let's start with them. This one is all. I haven't opened any of them yet, but. So this is all the stuff that I ordered the other day from Amazon. But remember I said I added some stuff, so yeah. Oh, I gotta stay okay, so this is the utensil organizer. Remember I got this in the color bamboo. So let's go ahead and open this. So this is supposed to go like this. According to the paper. And then this. Oh, okay. So it extends out. Okay. So yeah. It doesn't fit it to where it's like tight. You see, it doesn't fit it to where it's tight because it still has room on the sides. But for the most part, it fits it really good. Okay, so this is the granite polish and sealer because my sister was telling me that you have to seal the granite, your granite countertops or things are I can't even see my head. My sister was telling me that you have to seal the granite countertops or things are gonna like sink, sink into it. Um, so I got the sealer and I got the polish. And I also got the daily clean and shine for the granite and stone. And she told me to get some, to like wipe it up. She told me to get some lint free microfiber top. I got these ones, these had really good reviews. And I'm gonna have everything linked below like, just in case somebody wanna get it. But these had really good reviews and they look like they're very like plush. It does say plush cleaning towel. So yeah, so that was in one. Oh wait, also, I'm so glad this was not made of glass, but the top was open. Anyway, so when I went to go get my nails done yesterday, my nail tech, she usually pulls out some type of like oil, like oil that's fragranced. And yesterday was the first time that she pulled this out. And I said, girl, I just ordered that. But I guess it comes in different fragrances. I got the milk and honey. So this is just cuticle oil because my cuticles have been Oh, it smell good. She, <laughs> she told me to um, make sure I put it around my cuticles and also under it. So, um, I got this. Okay, so this is the, remember the tear thing that I was gonna put in the seasoning drawer? So let's go ahead and see how this one fits. So I guess it's cool, you know. It's cool or whatever. It's gonna have the things on top of it anyway. I'm going to keep this, I'm gonna keep the seasoning out because I gotta switch them over. Oh, these are the, I hate that y'all like, let me see if I can, cause I feel like my, you only can see the top of my head. Better. Okay. 
these are the slippers that I got. I really don't care for the color for the most part because it looks, I don't know. I'm just not a gray girl, honestly, but this house mainly, this house mainly is gray. Let me try them on. Oh, they cute. Where my phone at so I can show y'all? Ooh, and they comfy. These are cute and comfortable. Where my phone at? I'm gonna insert a little video so I won't have to keep moving this camera. <laughs> oh, they comfortable. Yeah, well, they they just soft and so comfy. Oh my gosh. Yeah, these is definitely a steal. Oh, so what else? Oh, this is the salt and pepper shaker that I got. Cause I was tired of looking at the actual containers. Oh, so they give you a little thing so you can put it in there, like a funnel. And then they're just black, matte black, and it has different things at the top to where if you want like three big holes. Let me see, is it gonna focus? Three big holes, pour, or like if you wanna not, like this is where you can't okay, nothing come out, or to sprinkle, so that's cool. Mm. This must be the containers to put the seasoning in. So this is heavy. Oh, okay, so it do come with like, blank labels just in case you want to label because i was wondering if it came with blank labels so it come with is it one page one page of blank labels and then the other ones are like is already pre-typed up there or pre-labeled rather so pretty much anything that you can think of i see paprika old bay mint oh okay it come with some more blank ones too and then this is how the inside looks and in the middle that it comes with a little funnel where you can funnel the seasoning in so let's just try one shall we oh okay and each top comes with the sifter you know what let's just do obey just because i saw that in there <laughs> i'm gonna do the obey being that i saw that in there Good. When did this expire? Cause I feel like I had this for a while. So I guess once it get close to the to the top, you gotta kind of lift it up. The sifter back on top. And where is the top? Oh, right here. To actually close it. And then I'm going to take the label. Let me see. Oh, old Bay. Old Bay right here. I'm going to take that. And put it right in the front. Okay, and now let's go see how it looks in the thing. Oh, ooh. Ooh. So this, I think I ordered this after I hung up with you guys. So I actually have my pots and plans, pans on the counter because I wanted to wait till this came so that I can organize them. So this is a hot rack organizer. Oh, you gotta put it together. <laughs> well, I'm gonna just show y'all. <laughs> look, it look like this, and we're gonna put it together later. Right. And this is the screen cleaner. Remember I told you about the TV? So I'm gonna test that out. And then this can only be the stainless steel cleaner because I think, oh, it's one other thing. Oh, two other things. So stainless steel, it came with wipes and it came with spray. So I mentioned earlier that I'm trying to get like more glass to go in my uh, butler pantry. 
So I've been buying some different things. And I guess I'll show you all this. But it's more stuff that's coming in. But the thing is, I really don't want it to just look so like white. Why I look like that? Bring it all closer. Don't do that to me now. Okay, so this is a what is this? 16 pieces. So it comes with smaller glasses like this, and then it comes with these smaller ones. I just thought that they were just cute, you know what I'm saying? For adults to use summertime. Got your lemonade or whatever. Or your mixed drink. Mixed drink. <laughs> so yeah. And it comes with eight of those. So that's cool. And lastly, I actually got this because... So you know I be like, well, now that I'm starting to vlog, I want to um, include like cooking up there. Like tomorrow I'm cooking, so I want to include that. But, um, so, anyway, I seen Aaliyah's face post uh, one of those tripods to where it like, it's like an overhead, so it's not like at an angle, like you all will be looking right at what I'm cooking. So, I got that, and it's so crazy, y'all, because if you know how like you go on Amazon and sometimes they'll have like two versions of something one of them will be the newer version so if you're looking at a specific item under it it'll be like newer version and they tell you the price well that particular day i saw that the newer version was cheap was cheaper than the regular version and it was like 99 dollars. and this normal price was like 137 so they had marked it down that day just that day well not even the whole day just for a couple of hours so i just happened to look at the right time so um, I got it. Ooh. Oh, happy as it should be because it's like, you cost an arm and a leg. But yeah, this is how it looks. Let me see, how does it go up? Oh, we probably got to loosen this. Ugh. Oh yeah. So it goes, let me see how high it goes. So how does that, oh, to um, Oh, I love that. All you gotta do is twist it to unlock it. Oh yeah, I love that. And then you just twist it back to lock it in place. Oh, that's so convenient. Baby, don't check for me. Taking time out to 